Hi there, and welcome to yet another episode in Sound Paint. In today's episode, we're going to look at our piano ensemble. I think we sometimes tend to think of ensembles as something that is sort of baked into the sort of orchestral imprint of things. A violin ensemble is obvious, a cello ensemble, French horns, trumpets, flutes, whatever it is, we're used to conventional ensembles. But what about a piano ensemble? What happens if you take four awesome, massive grand pianos, put them in a hall, in the Slin Hall in Europe, which is this beautiful modern orchestral hall, play them together, and just see what happens. Who's to say that it has to be violins or trumpets or French horns that could be in ensembles? Why shouldn't we explore other type of ensembles? This is what our whole alternative ensembles is about in Sound Paint. Whether it's our beautiful glockenspiel ensemble, our harp ensemble, our cymbalom ensemble, our marimba ensemble, xylophone ensemble, we have so many guitar ensembles, or in this case here, a piano ensemble. This is what we're going to explore. A couple of you guys have requested that we play with the dry raw parts in the beginning of the video, so I'm just going to do that right now and just take you through the sort of library in its core raw condition, and after that, Nicolas Semrat is going to take over and really take these piano ensembles for a crazy spin. And it almost sounds like one instrument, but there's a little bit like... Like this note up here. Because it's four players playing at the very same time when we record them, sometimes there'll be a little bit of sort of fluctuation in the note. Almost sounds like one piano, but you can hear it's a little more massive and sort of chorusy in its sound. Let me try that on the deck of microphone. It gets a little bit fatter, a little bit wider. Here's the wide microphone. And for the hell of it, let's just take all three microphone positions and play them at the same time here with the sustains. Why not? And let me just um, open the voice module here and increase the voices to 256 as well, so we have enough to play with. You can just hear the hole oozing, bleeding into the sound. It's so beautiful. When you're recording great holes, the hole becomes a part of the instrument itself. The natural harmonics and overtones bleeds into the instruments. It becomes sort of a fourth player, if you will. Well, fifth in this case, because we got four pianos. Now, when you have a piano ensemble, of course you've got to do staccato notes as well. It's sort of very filmic. That was the spot, Mike. Let's try that on the decker. Now, when you have four pianos at your disposal, it's also cool to experiment with them. You'll notice here in the parts that we have a variety of experimental articulations. We're really doing a lot of crazy things, but maybe my favorite sort of more experimental articulation is our plucked piano. So this is almost like four giant full-sized grand piano guitars playing together. We pluck the strings like a guitar. Ah, 
I mean, that sound. Hear that rattle? All right, let me try that on the Decca 3 here as well. You hear that release trigger? It's so cool. You can hear the hole sort of ring out. Let me just try that on the white microphone as well. This is just so beautiful. You know, it's hard to put words to this. For me, there's just something soulful and different about having a full piano ensemble at your fingertips. It sort of goes to that more expansive notion that we always wanted sound paint to be, that it's a new next generation sample technology, but it's also new instruments, new ideas that we haven't explored before. Why does the orchestra only have to be conventional ensembles? Who said we can't do piano ensembles? There's something beefier and soulful about this sound here. If you notice here in the parts browser, you'll see that we have a variety of unique parts that are more experimental and torturous in their core. It may be that Semrat, who's gonna take over, is gonna explore them as well, but I really hope you're gonna join me on this um, sonic journey here. I actually have not seen his performance yet, so I'll be watching it with you as um, we go through this video here. So yeah, let Semrat take over. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.